and welcome to Surviving Adulthood if it is your first time here. On today's video, I have for you five quick tips for coping with loneliness throughout the holidays. If that's something that you're interested in seeing, then definitely stay tuned. And if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel to receive more wonderful quick tips on Surviving Adulthood. So without further ado, here are my five tips for coping with loneliness throughout the holidays. So as someone who has dealt with this situation personally and closely, being that I'm an only child and I don't have that mom and dad living with me situation, I have definitely let, felt the sadness and the loneliness during the holidays because around the holidays, the biggest theme that you'll see on social media and on TV is family and togetherness and being around the ones that you love. So, you know, we're not all fortunate enough to have that mom and dad unit that have that closeness with our family. So sometimes it can be pretty sad because you're looking at it and it just kind of reminds you what you don't have. So my first tip is to do your best to focus on what you do have. So maybe you don't have that mom and dad and sibling unit, but you're close to your cousins or you're close to your friends and those are the ones that you love. Those are your family. Those are the people that you want around you during, during those times. Because, you know, family just comes family comes in so many different ways so like I said before even if you don't have that mom and dad unit focus on the fact that maybe you have cousins maybe you have friends that are really close to you that you really appreciate and you thank God for and even if it's not people focusing on just the fact that you have a home the fact that you have a vehicle to get to point A to point B the fact that you have a job that you get to go to after the vacation after the break those are all amazing things that you know I don't know about you but really warms my heart during the holidays because it could be something completely different you could be out in the streets in the cold and not having a place to live so there are so many things to be thankful for and there are so many things that you do have that once you decide to focus on it'll bring you a lot of joy and it'll kind of let you forget about all the things that you feel like you don't have my second tip is to do your best to take away the power and loneliness so I'm the type of person I really believe that you choose to be whatever that you want to be, right? So even happiness. Happiness is a choice. You can choose to be happy. You can, you know, and the reason why I believe that is you can look at two people going through two traumatic events and they deal with it completely differently. Some person might go through a traumatic event and let it overtake them and it really just changes them as a person and, make, and turns them into a really sad and emotional person whereas someone else can go through a traumatic experience and, and decide that despite what I'm going through I'm going to do my best to try to be happy so I really believe that happiness is a choice and I believe that loneliness is also a choice because loneliness is just a feeling if, when you really take out the power of loneliness it's just a feeling because you can be around a lot of people and feel lonely or you can be by yourself and feel lonely so obviously people being around you is not the deciding factor of loneliness. Being lonely is a choice. So my second tip is to try your best to take out the power in loneliness. And instead of allowing yourself to feel lonely and sad, choose to be happy and sad. Choose to focus on other things. Choose to really appreciate that moment that you have where... You know, not everybody, but most of us where we don't have to be at work, we get to be at home, you get a moment of peace and stillness and a moment where you can choose to do whatever that you want to do. My third quick tip or reminder is don't fall into the hype. You're not the only person. I think something that really used to bother me is when I would look on social media and see everybody else with their families and feel like, oh wow, like I'm really missing out. I don't have these things. But the reality is... On social media people are always gonna show their best you know their best face basically so around that time regardless of the fact that their family might not truly be a real family that they might have issues that they ha may have so many like underlying issues horrible things going on they'll still post pictures with their family members and you're over there you're jealous and you wish that's what you had and you know you really don't know what this real situation is so don't fall into the hype you're not the only person who doesn't have that typical family um, unit who's not having the typical the ideal Thanksgiving or the ideal Christmas or the ideal holiday season you're not the only person so don't feel alone um, 
I know like usually we say misery loves company like um, it's a bad thing and sometimes it is you don't want to be around a whole miserable people but think of it up this way like you're not the only misery loves company and I don't know if it's, okay I'm trying to make it relate I'm trying to make it a thing but like you're not the only person that's sad you're not the only person going through some things some who's not having the ideal um, holiday season and I don't know why but for whatever reason that feels good because it feels like well for whatever reason realizing that feels good because it's just like you know that you're not alone you know that it's not something that's wrong with you that you don't have the ideal situation going on that maybe it's just it's a part of life maybe it's just normal maybe just not everybody's going to have that ideal situation if you understand what I'm coming where I'm coming from my fourth tip is to make the best out of the day so although your Thanksgiving or your holiday season may not look like family around your house sitting at a table talking and eating um, it doesn't have to be a bad thing and it doesn't have to be a sad thing so you can choose for the day to be a day of where you like a spa day an at home spa day you take out all your nail polish and your um, nail polish remover and you take off your nail polish or you have a bath or you get some wine or if you don't drink wine you get some martinelli's and like you just pour yourself something to drink and you just relax you watch a movie the day can look however you want um ultimately I, what i'm trying to say is if you don't have the ideal holiday you can create your own thanksgiving doesn't have to look the same in everybody's household Christmas or whatever you celebrate it doesn't look have to look like what you're seeing on commercials and on TV It can be whatever you choose for it to be so my fifth tip and my last advice for coping with loneliness throughout the holidays is to As hard I know like a lot of things are easier said than done. I understand that I'm as I say certain things I'm going through them myself. It's just you know Anyways, the fifth thing is um, basically over time learn to appreciate your singleness um, and that doesn't that's, I'm not necessarily talking about not being in a relationship but your individuality learn to appreciate you as a person being you as a human being so person being you as a human being so don't put don't give so much power into having people around you learn to appreciate your alone time basically so even if your holidays is not filled with family and all that stuff it doesn't have to be a bad thing it doesn't have to be sad being alone doesn't have to be a sad thing now if you're you're watching tv and you're on social media and you fall into the hype then you're going to think that you need people in order to be happy and I'm not saying like don't go through life like oh I don't need anybody but around the holidays don't burden yourself with extra feelings of sadness just because you don't have a whole bunch of people around you appreciate your alone time my most of my Thanksgiving was spent well not my Thanksgiving but my Black Friday was spent in bed by myself watching Netflix and it was absolutely amazing and I was happy and I was grateful that I had a job I was grateful that you know I had Netflix I was grateful that I didn't have any plans I didn't have anybody to tend or care for except for myself so yeah so those are my five quick things uh, my five quick tips for coping with loneliness throughout the holidays I just want to remind you that you're not alone that we all I don't know about we all but I know me personally that I have moments where I feel alone and I feel sad and I wish you know certain things was different where I question like why is it that everybody else had siblings and they had that mom and dad and I didn't? What like what does it ultimately mean um, for my future? What is my future gonna look like? So we all have those moments. Well, I have those moments. And if you have those moments, also know that you're not alone um, and that you'll get through it. Like being alone is not the worst thing in the whole entire world. You will be fine. Life will go on. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate when you do. Um, I upload once a week. I do my best to do it on a Wednesday. But if I'm feeling really happy, I'll upload on a Friday as well or even on a Sunday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure that you're subscribed for more videos. And I will see you next time right here on this channel.
Brushed my hair, went downstairs. Favorite jeans on my rear. And I looked up in my mirror. And I said, 